Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will work on a controller to show the user details. I mean, when the user clicks on a view profile button, we will send their request to a controller that will redirect them on a new page where they can see the details of a developer. By the way, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we will only work on creating a controller and setting up the route for it. We will not implement the view template in this lecture. We will do that in next lecture okay so let's start working on creating the controller so to do this first uh, switch to the project directory okay and here we will create our members controller inside the app controllers directly uh, directory okay but please do not be confused with the user model i mean uh, we will only name the controller as the member but we will keep using the user model and why i am naming the controller as member because i need the user controller separately and also if we define the user resource in the routes file then there will be some conflict between the device users route and resource user route okay however that is solvable but uh, still we will go with the members controller so create a new controller here so right click on the controllers directory and then select the new file okay however there are still two ways to create a new controller either you can use the rails generator generator or you can create it manually okay and we already saw in the first lecture that how we can generate a controller using the rails generator now we will create it this manually so name this controller as members controller members controller dot rb okay and here what we need to do just implement the members controller class members controller and then inherit it via application controller and end the file and end the end of line okay now in this members controller we need to define a show action okay and in this show action we will find our user okay so first define the show action so def show okay and here we need to find the user object so we need to fire an ex or uh, find a method or an active record find query on the user model okay so first define your user instance variable that you will see on the uh, view template so at the rate user equal to user dot find params id okay and you can see that this find method will find a user from the database that is uh, re uh, requested against the id that we get in the param okay and we are naming this param as the id because whenever you click on the view profile button then the respective user id will come through the request and we will find the user based upon that id okay now save this controller and we need to uh, update the route for it i mean we need to create a route for it because we just created the member controller and now it's time to define the route for this member controllers show action okay and since we have only one action implemented so we need to define only one route for the show action okay so now save the controller file and open the routes okay and in the routes come after the root path okay and here we will implement our members uh, members route so first define the http verb okay like uh, whatever the http request it is it must have a http verb associated with it for example if it is get request then you need to start a route with get if it is post then you need to route to start with post okay but since we will only fetch or retrieve the user's details so we need to define it with get keyword so we can use get and then your member name uh, route name so member and here you, what you can do slash id okay and then define members and the action name here okay and here you can notice two things okay the first thing is uh, that we are using id with colon in the route and it means that whenever you want to set dynamic params in route you need to use this parameter name with colon and the second thing if we are using any customized route name other than our controller uh, name then we need to explicitly mention the controller and action name and here you can see that we did the exactly same thing like we defined the id with the colon here and we define members show action okay and that's it now let's use this route in the view so go to the index.html.trb template in the app views home so here you need to open this index template and there we need to replace the url for 
view profiling in the user card here you can see that what we provided that right now we are using javascript void 0 so we need to remove this and instead what we will call here member and slash now we need to pass the user's id so we will use this in like this user dot id okay and now just go to the browser and refresh your root page so we can see this link in the inspect element okay for example here if you hover on the view profile button you can see in the top left that it is showing localhost colon 3000 slash member slash one and if it, it is showing member slash two and you can see this in, in by inspecting this button as well so here you can see this href property it is showing member slash two okay but if you click on it right now you will see an error that members controller show is missing a template for request format text html okay why because we did not implemented the show dot html dot trv and we are not going to implement this in uh, this lecture we will do that in next lecture okay now just come back to the home page again so the route we defined in the routes file is working okay but let's come back to the route file again okay so what we can do just switch to the route file and now we need to change this route okay because here you can see that in the index.html what we are doing that we are provide sending this request in the uh, something like hre format that we attach in the anchor tag of html element and we are not using the proper rails format path here okay so to make it a proper rails format path we need to make some changes in our routes.rb okay uh, by proper format i means that we should use member path and instead of passing users id we need to use the entire user resource okay and we can change our this route to use the proper rails format okay so what we can do here uh, you just simply need to use the to and as option okay so just remove this part okay and here what you can do to and here you need to mention that what controller and which action you are referring this route okay so members slash show okay and now you need to use as member and add it in quotes okay now if you uh, execute this in the current way like uh, here we did in the in index.html now if you use this in the same way you are still able to do that for example uh, let's uh, save this and uh, sorry let's uh, save the route file okay and go to the browser and refresh the page your link still will work okay but we can do this in other way as well like we can do this like uh, member path and here just use at the rate, sorry user okay and still it will redirect uh, us on the member slash users id okay now save it and refresh the page you will still able to get the same path here you can see that local loss 3000 member slash one and if you inspect it you will see the same href again okay but the difference is that that if you are using like this member path and uh, then you are using the older way like uh, just use this uh, remove the two option and remove this as as well okay now you cannot use the member path like this we used in the index.html so save it and save the route file as well and now come to the browser and refresh the page you will see some error whenever you refresh the page you can see that undefined method member path okay why because we did not provide uh, set up our route in the proper rails format so let's open the routes okay so here you can see what we did get member slash id okay and if you want to see this in the uh, rails routes how you can do that rails routes grab member okay and when you do this you will see a path like this get member slash id okay and now if you change it to like this sorry just go to the route file and here we can use two and use the as option here as member and now if you open the rails routes okay you will see it like this so it will be considered as the member underscore path and then you need to provide the user object instead of user id and it is the much better and safer way for uh, 
sending the routes okay and this is the proper rails formatting route okay both in the routes and into the view file as well okay and now if you come to the browser and refresh the page your link will work again and that's it for this lecture so i hope you got the idea of how to define custom routes in rails and we saw two different ways to do this now in the next lecture we will implement the show template for this controller okay so whenever you will click on the view profile button you will see the user details okay so meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe